Albert, I believe in Julius Thomas. What remains and what would it mean? AKA rare player for player trade involving two big name, big time players who both have big sours and a couple obstacles do remain, but here's what we know right now. Brandon Albert, Dolphins left tackle, soon to be former Dolphins left tackle, is visiting the Jacksonville Jaguars today to try to accelerate this deal. If he likes it there, if he likes what he hears from the coaches, then this, of course, would inch this forward toward the finish line. Albert would also likely redo his contract, receiving actually an increased deal with more money potentially in the 2017 season as opposed to the $9 million that he's set to make right now. Then there is the case of Julius Thomas, who would be coming over uh, to the Miami Dolphins in this trade. He also would like to rework his contract to go the other way, probably take a small pay cut just for the uh, ability to play for the Dolphins and make sure that he is playing for former offensive coordinator Adam Gase, who was with the Broncos when Thomas was with the Broncos, when, by the way, he had his best season. There is a lot still to be worked out, but a lot of momentum and several people involved in this deal believe that this will absolutely happen sooner rather than later. Talk about the Dolphins, to use a lax term here, they cleared a lot of top cheddar, a mm. lot of uh, cap space last week. What was their goal there? Mm. I don't even know if that's what that, that means. Word doesn't if I use there, I don't know. No, I don't know. I'm a baseball guy. I'm not a lacrosse guy. With all respect to, to put, Chris Hogan, put some money in here. Who, Anybody got five up for me? Nah, I'm out. Vacation. D Go for don't, it. Don't put any money in. That's <laughs> the worst. Anyway. As far as the Miami Dolphins, they did clear some, some cap space, obviously trading Brandon Albert. Mario Williams was sent packing, as was Earl Mitchell, who, by the way, has four free agent visits this week, a coveted uh, defensive tackle, a veteran in the room. But the Dolphins wanted to make sure that they have some space to be very active in free agency. From what I understand, I would not be surprised if they made a pretty big splash, maybe a big-time defensive tackle. Brandon Williams would be a name to consider there. Maybe a cornerback, if they can acquire a top-notch one. That was an issue last year as well. Mike Tannenbaum and the Dolphins rarely sit still. They rarely just do nothing and reload. This would, and 